The Nova class was a type of Federation starship designed for short-term planetary research missions. It was placed in service starting the late 24th century. As a science vessel, the Nova class was outfitted with a number of specially equipped science and research labs. At the time of inception, it was modeled as the next evolution of the explorer design of the Galaxy class. The final design of the Nova class initially started as the Pathfinder as the proposed Defiant class fast torpedo ship. However, with the looming threat of the Borg, Starfleet Command radically altered the concept of the Defiant class, rendering the Pathfinder design unsuitable. Even though the Nova class vessel was considered a science vessel, the ship carried many assortment of weapons, allowing the vessel to handle many threats on its own. The Nova class was a relatively small ship. It was about 165 meters or 541 feet in length and about 62 meters or 203 feet in width. The ship had 8 decks on board and can accommodate 80 personnel with a maximum warp speed of 8. I want to thank Brilliant for sponsoring this video. If you want to become an expert at quantum mechanics or sharpen your skills on mathematical fundamentals, you have to actively interact with the problem to sharpen your skill, and that is what you can do with Brilliant. Brilliant is a great way to learn complex subject matter with hands-on learning that allows you to manipulate simulation and visual and have you answer questions every step of the way. This is the best way to learn because it allows you to check your understanding, and if you get stuck, there's always helpful hints and full explanation. Another example is this course on computer science where you can uncover the optimal strategy for finding a key in a room. And you will quickly learn how your own strategy can be replicated in a neural network. Brilliant is the best way to learn math, science, and computer science interactively and has thousands of lessons with exclusive new content added monthly. To get started for free, visit brilliant.org forward slash half screen or click on the link in the description. The first 200 will get 20% off Brilliant annual premium subscription. Now back to the animation. The design of the Nova class was considered a compact form of its much larger contemporary, the Sovereign class, and was also similar to the Intrepid class, although the Nova was only half its size. In keeping with traditional Starfleet design, the bridge was located on Deck 1, surrounded by a built-up area of the hull, making the bridge slightly less vulnerable to attack. Close to the bridge were several escape pods, with the lateral sensor array located near the front of the ship. Additionally, like the majority of the starship in the 24th century, the Nova classes were equipped with emergency escape pods, 24 in total. On the outer edge of the primary hall was the upper phaser array and RCS thrusters. Directly attached to the primary hall were the ship's twin warp nacelles protruding on either side of the rear of the engineering section with the Broussard's collector at the front of the nacelles. The ship's impulse engines occupied the rear of the primary hull while toward the aft end of the secondary hull was the main shuttle bay. Similar to the Intrepid class, the Innova class comes equipped with an injection hatch at the bottom of the secondary hull. Located on the venture side were the twin photon torpedo launcher, transporter emitter, and the ventral sensor array. In order to prevent space debris and objects from colliding and damaging the ship, the Nova class, like other Starfleet vessels, were equipped with the navigational deflector at the bow of the secondary hull. Deck 1 comprised of the main bridge and the conference room. The main bridge was the nexus for all command, control, and communication activity on the ship. In addition, the captain's quarters and first officer's quarters were located on Deck 1. This specific layout is rather unusual since the bridge and crew's quarters aren't typically located on the same floor. Most of the station were located on the perimeter of the round bridge, including the master system display behind the command chair and the main view screen in the standard forward position. Stations such as tactical were not standout stations due to the scientific nature of design of the vessel. 
Located at the front of Deck 1 was the communication transceiver compartment. The Nova class were equipped with several emergency escape pods and a pair of transporter transceivers. Located in the forward section of Deck 2 was the first officer's office. Four officers' quarters comprised of Deck 2, surrounding the light support compartment. Behind the life support was six personnel transporter pad, the officer's mess, and the enlisted lounge on the port side. And at the aft end was the impulse engineering and fusion generator. Spanning deck two and three in front of the shutter bay was the main cargo bay that contained work bees for the vessel, which were mainly used for transportation and repair purposes. On the shutter bay was the shutter emergency hatch and transporter pad. At the heart of the ship was the computer core with the sick bay adjacent to it. The medical facility was equipped with the emergency medical hologram system. It was one of the earliest examples of the medical holo program being used on board the Federation Starship. Behind the computer core were two science labs and the cryogenic gas tankage compartment. The forward section of Deck 3 was taken up by the secondary deflector bay, with the center section comprising the security complex, locker room, briefing room, and the brig. Also situated in the outer rim of this deck were most of the escape pods and the phaser firing chamber. In terms of volume and size, Deck 4 was the largest deck on the Nova class ship. At the heart of the ship was the computer core with the junior quarters next to it and located on the outer rim was the senior officer's quarters. In the south section of Deck 4 was the Ray Rider Yacht Parking Bay, which was integrated into the Nova class hall. Unlike other auxiliary craft, the shuttle was not stowed in the shuttle bay, but was instead docked on the venture side of the primary hall, just for the ship's primary navigational deflector. The Nova class comes equipped with two independent launch bays that allow the ship to retain torpedo capability even if one bay was destroyed. The outermost section of Deck 4 holds the two RCS maneuvering thrusters plus the two fuel assistant tanks, as well as the dorsal forward phaser providing defense for the secondary hull. Like most Starfleet vessels, the Nova class comes equipped with two warp drive nacelles and a Broussard's collector. On the midsection of the ship was the battery compartment, the cryogenic gas tankage, and the anti-grav landing thrusters. At the aft end of Deck 4 was the shuttle bay with the shuttle bay landing target and shuttle elevator for maintenance and repair of various shuttle craft. Toward the deck of Deck 5 was the shuttle bay parking and replicator main system bay. In the center of Deck 5 was the subspace radio transceiver, the ventral port phaser compartment, and the primary deflector generator bay. On the forward section was the main navigational sensor array. Located in the outer rim was the ventral technical scanner and sensor suite, and the phaser firing chamber for the primary hall. Located at the center was the deuterium injector engineering bay as well as two deuterium tankage close by and a primary deflector generator bay. At front and center of deck 6 was the primary deflector generator bay with the defense field generator bay adjacent to it. Between the junior officer's quarter was the main engineering bay and toward the back was the waste recycling compartment. There were several raw material storage tanks for both organic and inorganic materials. Main engineering was located on Deck 7. The Nova class engineering section only spanned one deck and featured four wall based engineering console and a warp core analysis console in front of the core itself. The core spanned from Deck 5 to 8 and could be injected from the bottom of the ship through the injection hatch. On the port side was the workout room, and on the starboard was the observation and conference lounge. At the front of Deck 7 was the astrometric lab, 
a cryogenic cooling systems, and the fluid storage bay. And toward the aft end was the landing struts and antimatter processing bay. And finally, on the last deck is where you can find the landing struts, the antimatter containment pod, and the tractor beam emitter. Deck 8 consists of the antimatter containment bay, which includes the antimatter injection engineering bay, the plasma relay control, and toward the aft end was the airlock and landing ramp.